Well, I think I've been a pretty good listener for the last four or five days, ever since Missouri's second half collapse against Georgia. I've gone back now, and I've watched several times the final 27 minutes of that game, or at least, well, two and a half quarters that defined the outcome. Sure, Missouri made some crucial turnovers, and Gary Pinkle must be held accountable for ordering that horrible fake punt. My biggest problem with Pinkle, he's too stubborn to man up that he screwed up. Sure, he takes the blame for calling the play, but he's defiant in defending his decision to do so. Look, the coaching gap did not beat Missouri. The Georgia Bulldogs are a better football team. That's why they won. I have been hammered with anti-MU insults, and most of it coming from the other side of state line. I welcome constructive criticism, but I take exception to all the petty innuendos suggesting that Missouri is basically overmatched in the SEC. I remain convinced that Missouri will win more games in this league this year than they lose. I would remind those making the snide remarks and the catcalls that Missouri is playing the very best college football has to offer. Tough losses are always difficult to accept because of pride, but Missouri fans can take solace here, folks. The Tigers are playing big boy football against real football teams. I can't imagine the pain Rock Chalk must be feeling after losing to the worst team in probably the worst conference in football. What's the old saying, if you want to be the best, you must play the best. SEC really does truly rock. That's Jack Smack.